law of attraction isn't what you think it is. Okay, so hi guys. I'm sorry about my background and everything going on in the... I just had a little urge to just sit down and film a video. And I haven't sat down and filmed in front of my camera in like over a year, I think. Maybe about a year. But I'm back. I don't know for how long. I can never promise that. But hopefully I stick to it this time. Um, I just had an urge to talk about manifestation today. And I've already made a little like one minute three minute maybe TikTok video but I really wanted to just sit down and talk about what I meant by that I've already kind of <laughs> covered everything and I'm just going to repeat myself a little bit and expand a little bit because I think a lot of things can get taken out of context and people always be doing that so welcome back to my channel <laughs> I haven't even been here in a minute so I wanted to talk about how everyone is overcomplicating manifestation and I just don't think we need to be doing all of that. Like we've got a lot of attraction, a lot of assumption, a lot like we we get it. There's a lot of things that we love to label, but at the end of the day it always comes back to the basics, right? So I always say this, but whenever I feel like something isn't right, I just go back and watch Esther Hicks because obviously she channels Abraham and the basics are there and everything you need to know is there explained in the best way possible and I find it so interesting because when I first even started listening to her I couldn't even understand what she was saying it wasn't aligning, I wasn't in the receptive mode I didn't understand a damn thing now I'll go back listen to a video that I didn't understand and everything will click and I'll be like yeah like I remember this because we already have this information within us we already know right your inner being knows when you don't feel good, it's because you're not aligning with your inner being. You're not in the vortex. That's what she always basically talks about in different ways, different scenarios, different people. But at the end of the day, it just comes down to feeling good and your manifestation will come as long as you're aligned to that vibrational frequency. Like at the end of the day, that's basically it. I'm really just like, don't just ignore the background because I know... I don't even have a bed right now. It's a mattress. <laughs> it's fine. So I have like a little note. I wanted to talk about... Law of attraction isn't what you think it is. It really isn't. It's not... You don't need to start controlling all of your thoughts and um, actions and everything to a point where you're... You know, you're, you're so hyper-focused on that and not getting it wrong. You cannot get it wrong just come back to yourself for a minute I always say that in order to manifest something you need to be on its vibrational frequency because if you're not you're probably vibrating at the opposite of that because you're thinking about this thing so 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 much and what you're really saying is I don't 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 have it and the universe is picking up that it's not gonna pick up you want it, it the vibration of want is lack, is not having, is I don't have it, I want it, I want it. Having a desire is great, like, let me, let me say this, you need to have a desire to first, you know, get it going, because the desire shows you what you want, like, that's great, I want this, but you can't have a fixate on not having it, because it's like, oh, I'm so far away from this thing, when am I going to get this thing? It's not like that, really, it isn't. You want this thing, great, set your mind to it, that's my goal, that's what I want. But don't focus on the outcome so hard. Don't focus on how it's coming to you. Don't focus on when it's coming. Just know it's already there. Whatever you desire is already yours. And that is so important. And I feel like a lot of people get caught up in making it happen for themselves. And the universe will make it happen for you if you just trust. And a lot of us don't trust. We get out of the vortex. We start focusing on things that we don't have. Because we're like, well, I want this thing, right? But that is showing that I don't have it. That situation in my life is just proving how much I don't have this thing. Let's just say, I need to give an example to make it really clear. A car, let's say you want like a Mustang, okay? So if you want that Mustang, for instance, and you don't have it, you're not gonna focus on how much you want the Mustang, but you're probably gonna notice you start seeing them everywhere. That happens. What you do want to do instead is get in your vortex by um you can meditate and then do something that makes you feel good i think that's really important because at the end of the day it's very simple you just want to feel good you you set the intention you want to do something that makes you feel good so 
so you're letting the universe handle it so you're not thinking about it so so hard because when you're thinking about it so so hard again you're just emitting the vibration of not having it so you really do kind of just want to say okay I'd really like a Mustang like maybe a white Mustang like that would be really nice either go meditate you know focus on being present don't meditate and go Mustang 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 like no bitch <laughs> Meditate, focus on being present. Folk also, sorry you can hear my fan. I know it's probably really, really loud. I've just noticed that. But I was about to say something about it. Um, Abraham Hicks talks about this, how Esther will um, sometimes focus on like fans, or I don't know if she, she was saying fans specifically, but um, the sound of like the white noise, noise to get your focus on that, and then that's kind of like you're meditating because you're focusing on that point of attraction. So. My fan is my point of attraction. I'm just present with it. You'll meditate, you'll go do something that makes you feel great, and then you'll move on with your life. Now, I don't want you to put a time on this. I don't want you to limit yourself because your brain is going to think there's only a few ways to get that Mustang. I have to work really hard, or I have to win the lotto, or I have to do this or that in order to get it. There's so many other ways that you can't see because you're not letting yourself see. Your inner being, again, already knows. There is so, so many ways of getting what you want without your brain interfering because as humans, we can only comprehend so many ways of getting something because that's the way we've seen it being done before. But there's many other ways that we haven't even thought of. My point is that there's just so many possibilities that we can't see. And when we're allowing ourselves to step out of our own way and let the universe handle it things will come into place you literally don't need to fixate so hard on making it happen because things will be out of your control some things just are out of our control so we need to focus on how we respond to our environment to our thoughts and we need to focus on putting ourselves back into the high vibrational frequency where that Mustang is, in a sense, right? So we want to focus on feeling good. Do things that make you feel good, no matter what that is for you. For me, I love a bath. I love a good bath. I love listening to YouTube videos and um, having a bath or like cleaning. I love cleaning with like music. That makes me feel good. And when I do those things and I'm just so focused on that task, I will almost always receive ideas because then you're kind of entering flow state too, you know? So you're receiving ideas about whatever it is. That's another video, but it still kind of all comes back to the fact that when your inner being is aligned with you, well, when you're aligned with your inner being, things just have a way of working. And you know those people where you're like, you're just so lucky, like your life just is so good. And I'm not talking about the privileged, like, you know, obviously silver platter moment. Like, let's, let's leave all of that out of the question right now. Let's not take anything out of context. But I'm talking about, say you have a friend and their life is just always so good. Like, you're like, you're so lucky. Like, maybe they always win at pokies or something really random like that. Or they just always... You know that one lucky person everyone knows, everyone, I know about like two or three. And they're always like, their life is just so good all the time. I notice with those types of people, they're not lucky, they're just in their vortex, they're in the zone. It's, a, it's just another way of saying you're in the zone and you feel so good and when you're in the zone, things will just happen easier for you and things will naturally just be better. When you're having a good day and then things just keep, keep going, keep going on a roll and that's good and that's good and that's good and when you step out it becomes bad when you wake up in the morning and you start scrolling and then you see something you don't like and then the next minute you spill your coffee and then the next minute you're late for work and then the next you know you either choose to be on the low vibrational frequency or the high one and at the end of the day you can always change your circumstances you're stuck in traffic, enjoy that moment of being alone put on a podcast that you like, listen to music Stop thinking, oh, I'm going to be so late. Yeah, maybe. Even if you are, it's out of your control and you can make the most of it or the worst of it. And that's, that's it. That's literally it. So manifesting should be simple. 
it shouldn't be this whole like controlling thing like I need to do this I like set your intention and then go ahead do something that makes you feel good and don't come back and constantly think when's it coming like I've been doing these things and it still hasn't come every time you think that you're still amplifying that I don't have so whenever you manifest something really easily or you're like oh I accidentally manifested this or like oh my god I just like was thinking of that it's usually things you don't care about because there's no resistance but big manifestations even though technically it takes just as much to manifest a pen as it is an elephant as they say you're acting as if it's so much harder and you're making it so much harder for yourself it is not harder to manifest a bigger manifestation than it is a small one it's just your resistance that's getting in the way and you just need to step out of the way and let it happen because it it's the same process so stop stressing so much and start enjoying life more start doing more things that feel good for you enjoy your life even if you're not in the circumstance you want to be in be in that vibrational frequency and you will be in the circumstance you want to be in ultimately okay thank you guys so much for watching subscribe because i probably will keep doing videos i'm trying i just I get distracted that's what I need to work on I need uh, yeah everyone has their things everyone has their things